Tell me, what is the biggest turn-off on the first date for you? I'll go first. When the bill comes and I suggest splitting the bill and he accepts my offer. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? This is how you know that you're talking to broke ass men when they have an issue to pay even for dinner. Are you joking me? At dinner, in your mid thirties or over, your problem is to pay a dinner. Get the fuck out of here. And you're talking about relationship or like having a family or something like that. My man is going to be provider. And I always dated the providers. Never ever was an issue with any of my men to pay a dinner. The way why I look like this crazy is because I just pay my own bottles. So no, money's not a problem. But I do ask for men to be a provider. Yeah, and it's always the men that have no picture on a profile and have money issues or small dick energy that are the loudest. So and the interesting part is that they always come for a girl's look, thinking that they actually have a right to say what is attractive or not attractive or what standards should I as a woman have. Please leave my page immediately. A small price to pay for salvation. I don't want to hear all why men always have to pay because women are the prize. I'm not going half. I'm not tipping. I'm not all my turn. I'm not your girlfriend, okay? McDonald's don't suffice for me no more. I'm grown. I'm grown! I don't care! I think that a man should always offer to pay for the first date because you get to see what type of receiver your date is. If you are already dead set on paying for the first date and you take out your wallet, does she A, act like fucking duh, like that's expected? Does she B, try to counter with let's go have, like let's split it? Uh, does she C, acknowledge that you are going to pay for it and act with gratitude? So the latter two I would say are acceptable and if she does the first, it's probably a really good indication that the dates need go- BULLSHIT! Women should tell men before they go out on a date that they expect the man to pay. That way, men and women can avoid any type of disappointment. But we all know women would never do that because the man is more likely to see her as a gold digger and not bother to turn up to the date to begin with. Women always say men are broke if he doesn't want to pay for the date. But women are the ones who are broke because they can't even pay for their own food. How can you call a man broke for not paying for your food? A man's ability to provide for a woman has absolutely nothing to do with paying for you on the first date. He can have enough money to provide for a family and still might not want to pay for your meal. It doesn't stop him from being a provider. It only means he does not want to provide for a stranger he barely knows who could potentially rob him by getting free food dates. You think women are the prize, yet you want a man who is taller than you, stronger than you, makes more money than you, and who is more confident than you. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, honey. This is hilarious. You should pay for a woman's meal so you can figure out if she is good at receiving gifts or not. Why should a man have to pay to figure that out? The twisted logic women use to get men to pay for their meals and drinks is hilarious. Real men of genius.